Hey yo, what is up guys, welcome back to the channel. And the news for WWE 2K Battlegrounds has been a bit slow, but it seems like things are about to pick up. Because their Twitter account at 2K Battlegrounds and the official WWE Games account over the last couple of days been giving us some hints, screenshots and slash new teasers for the upcoming game. So today we're gonna have a quick update on the brand new reveals that we have gotten over the last couple of days and an overview of everything that we know so far and what we could be getting very soon. So make sure to climb that top rope, hit an elbow drop and let's jump into it. So the first thing that was revealed for the game came in the official announcement of it and of course uh, that was the 25 second teaser trailer featuring the likes of Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch fighting it out in a New York City fight pit, demonstrating some of the crazy abilities that we're going to be able to use in the game, from exaggerated punches and exaggerated finishers and cells to a lot of the moves, very similar to All Star. We also got a look at John Cena battling it out with The Rock in an arena that was sort of surrounded by the lake so this one instead of being a fight pit in a New York City subway station this is the quote-unquote dock again surrounded by a lake slash a swamp where you could even toss your opponent into an alligator that is a part of the crowd that is probably going to be one of the crazy omg moments that we get to do we got to break down more of what we got to see on this teaser trailer when it first came out but that is the overview of it in the initial poster we also got to see the character model of stone cold steve austin after that initial reveal we didn't get any other confirmation until about a week ago when the WWE 2K Battlegrounds account started sharing some screenshots. The first one got a bit of a reaction and some negative attention because they ended up showing us this box. Which right away a lot of the fans speculated that this was going to be loot boxes which we've been afraid of since the reveal of the game and honestly with any games nowadays. The caption for it asks if we got a crowbar to open it and then it says caution WWE superstars inside. This could be an indication that we are going to be unlocking WWE superstars through these type of crates or maybe it's just part of the arena and things that we get to do. They had to clarify though on the next week that the crate is not a loot box so that is a good thing honestly though maybe it wasn't the best idea to come out and show off a certain box that you need to open because again rightfully so a lot of fans started to worry right away as loot crate might just ruin the game the next thing that they show was that this quote-unquote Rio goat and we get to see what is another different arena so it looks like every arena is going to have a different type of theme and it's not necessarily going to be like WWE Raw or WWE Smackdown stage or NXT or pay-per-views and so on instead it's going to have a unique type of theme to it this goat right here got the John Cena Autogonomics next change, so you know it's about to go down. The caption for it is that things are about to get wild. I'm gonna take a wild guess over here and say that this is Daniel Bryan's alternate version. He is the GOAT after all, right? Or maybe he's just another GOAT like Chris Jericho. Highly unlikely though, because he is on AEW. All jokes aside, the next image show off exactly what we've been talking about, that some of these arenas are gonna be theme-based or that most of it will be as we get the big show running with a pipe bag and playing it why i don't know who is he fighting we don't know but again you guys can see that the ring is to his right and this is another original unique arena which i'm all down for because it means that there's going to be some specific omg moments to it like the alligator by the lake and so on i am a little bit concerned though because i still kind of want to have a version of the raw smackdown NXT and WrestleMania pay-per-views arena so I hope that that is still the case like yes go on give us some of these unique and original arenas ideas but still give us a version of the regular ones even if it's just the main shows now the latest reveal that we got to see was a brand new clip another teaser and it seems to be showing off Becky Lynch entrance or at least making some type of entrance on the first couple of frames we get to see her kick some wood out of the 
the way, there's a lot of fire on the background to make it look good. And of course, you got some type of pyro. Now, that's a lot of pyro. I could only imagine how much pyro Roman Reigns' entrance is going to have. This could be a brand new arena that we haven't seen yet. Or it could also be the New York City pit that we got to see early on with Becky fighting off Charlotte Flair. So that is all the latest bits and pieces that has been revealed for WWE 2K Battlegrounds. Based on everything that has been given to us so far, I do think that we are one to two weeks away from the next major reveal. Right now it's just teasers and based on it, it seems like we're going to be getting a roster reveal at first. Maybe it's going to be a weekly type of thing, like WWE 2K main games tends to do it. But all of that seems to be the next logical reveal. We are already getting some of the screenshots now we need actual gameplays and we need to see who exactly is in the game. Hopefully with all of that after we get a confirmations of match types, game modes, and of course the official release date for the game because we don't know that just yet. Anyways guys, that is what I got for you. If you enjoy or find that informative, don't forget to elbow drop it and to continue being up to date, turn on those notifications. I'll catch you on the next one, so stay savage.